se hizo un grupo de, de guardabosque para, para cuidarlos, que no se siguiera talando el pino, el encino, todo el monte pues que tenemos. Por eso hasta la fecha seguimos haciendo lo mismo, cuidando. La diferencia del bosque para acá y la diferencia del cambio de uso de suelo para allá. De esta cerca para allá es territorio de otra comunidad que fue invadida y que fue eh, sustituida los árboles, los bosques por aguacate. El oro verde, el oro que está manchado con sangre de la madre tierra. La comunidad es la que exige y pide que respetemos la naturaleza tal y como nos los heredaron nuestros antepasados. ¿Cómo? Pues cuidándola, al contrario, de, en vez de destruirla, fortalecerla. Last year, a court in Ivory Coast sentenced 10 people to a decade in jail each for trafficking children to work on cocoa plantations. The kids involved were released and returned home. But child labor remains a huge problem in production of the crop across West Africa, with countries and businesses under pressure to do something. Now Nestlé is taking steps to clean up its sourcing of cocoa, it buys hundreds of thousands of tons of the product to make everything from Kit Kat bars to Smarties. The Swiss food giant says it will start paying growers cash if they keep kids in school, instead of putting them in the fields. Monitors from a sustainable trade initiative and other third parties will check the children really are getting their studies. Farmers will be able to get payments of up to $543 per year, or as much as a quarter of the average grower's annual income. The scheme will be extended to all of Nestlé's 160,000 cocoa farmers by 2030. It's part of a push to make sure all its cocoa is fully traceable within a few years. Next year, the firm will launch Kit Kat products made with cocoa produced under the project. Nestlé says they might be more expensive than the regular bars but it thinks consumers will be ready to pay for a more ethical chocolate. The Californian city of San Jose has voted to mandate gun liability insurance, and if that law goes through, it's believed it will be the first of its kind in the US. The new measure would mean gun owners must carry insurance coverage for their weapons and pay an annual harm reduction fee. The city council voted 8-3 to three to pass a bill on Tuesday night. The bill is technically still subject to a final reading by the council next month and, if approved, will come into effect in August. Sam Licardo is the city's mayor. I think mayors throughout the country have been looking for a means to try to reduce the devastation that families in our communities are feeling every day. And we are tired of waiting for Congress to act. Opponents of the measure say the ordinance could set a precedent for other cities. Gun rights groups have been quick to criticize the bill as an infringement on Second Amendment rights. Legal action is being launched to block the bill's enforcement. Sam Paredes is the executive director of Gun Owners of California. We have opposed this on, on many issues, the constitutionality. We've opposed it on the fact that it is discriminatory uh, against, against those of lesser means. Um, it, it, it's wrong-headed and it plainly is insincere. Proponents of the bill argue that U.S. taxpayers subsidize private gun ownership through costs of police and emergency response to firearm-related violence. According to the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence, some 36,000 Americans or more die by firearms every year, an average of about 100 per day.